Are you tired of Dark Souls gameplay in Elden Ring? The role is so slow and so boring, it's just yucky and cringe. If so, I have the perfect item for you. Bloodhound Step is an Ash of War that makes combat fun and exciting. At the low, low cost of only a little FP, you can dash extremely far and turn invisible. And on top of that, you can put Bloodhound Step on any weapon. You can get Bloodhound Step today. All you need to do is send a man into the abyss and get some dog shit on your shoes. If you clicked on this video expecting an Ash of War that like one shots a boss, you know, does 10 trillion damage, well, you're at the wrong place. Now don't get me wrong, this Ash of War does make a lot of boss fights easier and more fun, but not through damage. As of now, I have around 42 hours put into Elden Ring, and for the majority of those 42 hours, I'm telling you right now I was using this Ash of War. Of course, the Ash of War I'm talking about is Bloodhound Step. Now Bloodhound Step essentially makes you disappear, kind of. You do a dash, you turn invisible for a short amount of time, and you go forward. If you fought Bloodhound Darawil at the beginning of Elden Ring, you would know what I'm talking about because he quite literally does it a bunch of times in his boss fight. This was also a thing in Bloodborne, there was an item known as the Old Hunter Bone, and when you used it, it would allow you to do the same thing, except you wouldn't go as far as you do in Elden Ring. Now, some of you might be thinking to yourself, you know, this isn't a big deal. It's just a dash, right? You go forward, you go farther, it's whatever. But this is actually a lot stronger than you think it is. Before I get to that, though, I need to tell you about Fanatical, today's sponsor. Do you want to buy Elden Ring but want to save some money? Well, Fanatical is an awesome site where you can buy officially licensed PC keys at great discounts. Elden Ring is currently available on Fanatical at a 16% discount. If you're interested, go check out my link in the description below to get your copy of Elden Ring, which also has a deluxe edition, and Fanatical will give you an extra 5% discount on your next purchase. Now with all that out of the way, let's talk about Bloodhound Step. So first of all, we need to know how to get it. Bloodhound Step drops from a Knight Calvary boss that spawns in at night at the Lens Rise Grace Point. This is on the east side of the map in the red area, but don't worry about the boss being too hard to kill because there's actually a way to make him kill himself. If you really wanted to do this, you could make a brand new character and immediately come here and still get it. There just so happens to be a great rune farm in this same exact spot, so you might as well come here on a new character. Anyways, in order to kill him without actually touching him, you're just gonna wanna aggro him, start the boss fight, and start running up the hill behind him. Thank you chat for letting me know by the way. Anyways, make sure he's not too far from you, make sure he's actually following you up the hill. And once you get to a certain point, he just magically dies. I don't know what the cause is, maybe the poison? Maybe he falls off the map? I have no fucking clue. Anyways, for sending this man to the abyss, you get 42,000 runes plus what I consider one of the best ashes of war in the game. And all you really did was, you know, step in some doggy doo-doo ass on the side of the road and get poisoned. So now that you know how to get Bloodhound Step, I'm gonna show you why it's so good. Spoiler alert, by the way, I'm gonna show clips of the General Radon fight because this is a very good example of why it's good. So if you don't wanna see that, Go ahead and click off this video, I guess. So like I said, this is just a very good example of why Bloodhound Step is extremely good. So I don't really know like the very specific details comparing Bloodhound Step to a regular roll, but Bloodhound Step seems to give you much more iframes than a regular roll does. If you don't know what iframes are, those are essentially when your character turns invincible for a certain amount of time when you dodge or roll. This is very important because you know that's how you survive in a crazy boss fight. So as you can see here, Bloodhound Step is extremely good. I am not getting hit at all by any of General Radon's arrows. This also does apply to his melee attacks. Of course, you could do the same thing essentially by just rolling, but Bloodhound Step is just so much better because it goes so much farther, it's so much easier because you don't need to be as precise, and it's just more fun. The weakness of a regular roll is the fact that you can get caught halfway through it. This is not possible with Bloodhound Step. It's not only because Bloodhound Step gives you more iframes, but it is also because it sends you a far distance away from the attack. This is the reason why I think Bloodhound Step is honestly one of the best Ashes of War in the game. With Bloodhound Step, you can quite literally be all around a boss. You know, you could go in, do some damage, 
back up, go behind him, go in front of him, go left, go right. With Bloodhound Step, you're extremely fast and you have so much control over your movement and a roll just doesn't compete. This makes a lot of boss fights so much easier because sometimes they quite literally can't keep up with you. Also, can we just talk about the fact that using Bloodhound Step makes every single boss fight looks so much cooler than just rolling like damn this is exactly why so many people love bloodborne combat anyways i think you understand why bloodhound step is so good now i'm gonna go ahead and leave you a few examples from my streams twitch.tv slash scumnut by the way just to show you how good this ash of war is in any fight has been broken. He's freed from my trap. Shit. That's how you do it. Bloodborne style, bitch. God damn. Yo, that's one of my favorite Ashes of War now. I love the frames. They totally uh, don't fuck me over. Oh, hold up. Yeah, keep walking for a second. Forgot about that one. out of here, bro. Let's go. Easy. First try, pretty much. What's the actual word called? Yo, you can see it on the screen, bro. Bloodhound Step.